Mid day news is brought to you by Dogra Chemist. Get 15 to 60 percent discount on all medicines and surgical items. Visit Dogra Chemist Airport Road, Jammu. India on Friday reported over 3 lakh COVID 19 cases for the second day in the row, clocking the 3 lakh 32,730 cases in the last 24 hours. With this, India's trend of registering the world's highest daily tally continues, pushing the country's total infection count to 1 crore 62 lakh 63,695 cases. As many as 2,263 people also died of COVID 19 in the past 24 hours, mounting the coronavirus death toll to 1 lakh 86,920. The general public, especially the passengers reaching Jammu and the other major towns of JNK in the train from outside, are suffering badly as the strike of the private transport operators continue for the third consecutive day on Friday. The government authorities claim to have witnessed the press additional buses of the Jammu and Kashmir Road Transport Corporation into the service of the general public, but even then, the majority of people, including government employees and the pilgrims coming to Mata Vaishno Devi Ji, shrine besides others were seen walking along the road with the baggages on the head. The members of Jammu Wine Trade Association has charged the Jammu and Kashmir government for bringing excise policy 21 and 22 with loads of loopholes, flaws and with intentions of benefit the rich and outsider using JNK domicile certificate through proxy e-auction bidding. They alleged that few families have also succeeded in getting 10 to 20 licenses each on the names of their family members and relatives through proxy bidding while about 200 licensees who were doing this trade for the decades and are having one license each could not get a single in the system of e-auction. <laughs> लिमिटेड है अनुराधा वाइन ट्रेडर्स है तीन मूर्ति एसोसिएट्स प्राइवेट लिमिटेड है अग्रवाल प्रॉपर्टी मार्ट प्राइवेट लिमिटेड है पूनम वाइन ट्रेडर्स है ये सब बाहर की पार्टी है इसके अलावा गवर्नमेंट ये कहती थी कि हमने यहां मनोपली खत्म करनी है यहां का जो कार्टलाइजेशन है उसको खत्म करना है Registering for the vaccination against COVID-19 for all those aged above the 18 will begin on the COVID platform and Arogya Setu app from April 28. The inoculation process and the documents to be submitted to get the jab remains the same. The central government has announced that the vaccination for above 18 years will begin across the country from the May 1st as a part of third phase of the inoculation drive. Jammu and Kashmir on Thursday recorded 1965 fresh COVID-19 cases that took the Union Territory's cumulative tally to 1,54,407, while eight more fatalities pushed the death toll to 2,092. Of the fresh cases, 1,176 are reported from Kashmir Division and 79 from the Jammu Division. Srinagar District recorded the highest number of fresh cases at 590, followed by 469 in the Jammu Division and 198 in the Baramulla. There are 16,094 active COVID-19 cases in Jammu and Kashmir. So far, 1,36,221 patients have recovered from the disease. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Thursday pitched for the concrete action at a high speed and on a large scale to combat the climatic change and asserted that India was going its part to deal with the challenges. Addressing a US-hosted virtual summit of 40 global leaders, Modi also said sustainable lifestyle and guiding philosophy of back to basics must be important pillars of the economy's strategy for the post-COVID era. The Prime Minister said and the President Biden are launching the India-US Climate and Clean Energy Agenda 2030 partnership. <music> Advisor to Lieutenant Governor Basir Ahmed Khan on Thursday had detailed review of the functioning of Industries and Commerce Department in an officer meeting held here today to work out multi-pronged strategies towards the further strengthening of investment ecosystem in the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. Advisor exhorted upon the officers to prioritize and aspirations of the entrepreneurs while putting in concerted efforts to make the JNK the most investor-friendly union territory. 
Director General J N K Institute of Management, Public Administration and Rural Development, Saurabh Bhagat on Thursday chaired the passing out ceremony of Secretariat Assistance Training Course for the Senior Assistants and the Foundation Course for the Junior Assistants. As many as 48 senior assistants and 88 junior assistants have been trained under the program, which started on February 15 this year. Congratulating the passed out candidates, Director General called upon them to continue learning throughout their life. Advisor to Lieutenant Governor Farooq Khan on Thursday had reviewed the progress made by the sports project executed by the JNK Projects Construction Corporation. The advisor asserted that the status of each of the project executed by the corporation and fixed timeline for their completion. He asked about the possible data of the completion of each of the project and facilities to be provided in each of them. He also asked about the kind of infrastructure raised at each location.